Hello everyone and welcome to another session of AP Human Geography with Mr. Elrod. We're continuing in Unit 2 and today what we're going to do is we're going to discuss the relationship that exists between the basic shapes or what are considered what I consider and some others consider the basic shapes of population pyramids and the demographic transition model. So really what we're looking at is if you're looking at uh, population pyramids what are some of the basic shapes that you can begin to notice and how does that relate to the demographic transition model and again how can you then relate that to things like uh, stages of development in terms of where is a country economically socially uh, in terms of their population growth and things along those lines so we'll look at the first one uh, and just very simply name we have uh, basic shape number one basic shape number one is related to uh, the demographic transition model stage two and remember uh, that is a stage that is characterized by high growth and so when you look at the stage, when you look at the basic shape one, it just looks like a regular pyramid. Now if we'll take a look here at the population pyramid, again we notice it has a wide base. If you remember from my previous videos on the population pyramids, whenever you're looking at uh, where is the direction of population headed, you always look to the base of the pyramid. So you can see this is a very wide base, which indicates that people are having lots of children. Uh, and then this is going to, to indicate to us that over time, population will continue to grow because uh, the people uh, that are dying will be, be replaced by, uh, by, the, by the children that are being born. Uh, you notice that people are surviving because the, uh, the population pyramid has gotten taller. Uh, and so this particular wide base, if it continues on like this, uh, will continue to extend out and out and then you'll have this a wider base over time uh, and the population will continue to grow at a, fairly, at a fairly high rate. Now one thing to mention here is that None of the population pyramids you look at will probably fit any of the basic shapes perfectly, but if you look, them in a look at them in a general way, they'll generally fit and that will give you kind of an idea of where the population is headed. We go on to uh, basic shape number two. Uh, this, is related to, uh, this is related to stage three of the demographic transition models. Uh, they call it, or it is called, an extended pentagon. Now you'll notice here what happened is we don't have this wide base anymore and it's not extending out but instead we've, began to, we've begun to flatten out on the sides now what that, what that means to us is that people that are now reproducing and having children are only replacing themselves notice how the sides are flat this just means that people are replacing themselves in society they're not necessarily having more children uh, than, than um, they're not having more than 2.1 children so you get these flat sides now population is going to grow and I do believe I talked about this in one of my previous videos population is naturally going to grow because you have this gap here if we pretend that these sides will continue to extend up and eventually you'll get this column you have this growth because this area right here will be filled in with people right now it's missing those people but over time you add the people into this particular part of the pyramid and you're going to have growth again it is moderate growth because not not a very large portion of the population is being filled in uh, on all sides. And again, we look to the base. If we look at the base, it shows us that uh, we're not growing. Um, we're not growing very rapidly. The next basic shape is basic shape three, uh, and this is related to demographics uh, transition model stage four. Uh, they call it the column, you can rectangle, you know, whatever it is that you want to call it. And this is indicated to us as slow to no growth. Notice we don't we no longer have the uh, the triangle shape at the top, which means that you know as people get older, they're simply going to die. People are just replacing themselves. We have no more space really in the population to fill in, so you're not going to have a whole lot of growth. If we move on to basic shape number four, uh, this is related to the demographic transition model stage five, uh, and it is characterized by negative growth. So uh, one of the things that we notice here is that the sides are beginning to move in, move downward. That means that people are not replacing themselves; they're having fewer than uh, one uh, than 2.1 children uh, per person or per woman. Okay, and so with that, that means birth rates are declining. So that means naturally over time the population is going to decline because if people have fewer and fewer children, once this this bubble, you're going to have some slight population growth because of this up here. But once that falls off eventually you have this continuing uh, decline in, in the uh, size of the pyramid uh, and just the, uh, the population size will continue to decline because uh, people are not having enough children. So anyway, uh, those are the, what are considered to be the four basic shapes and how they relate to 
the population pyramid and the demographic transition model. And again, no country is going to follow the basic shapes exactly, but if you look kind of the general shape, look at the base of the pyramid, see what's going on. It can kind of help you to understand uh, what stage of the demographic transition model that particular country is in. But not only that, it can also help you to understand uh, the levels of development that are probably happening in that country along with uh, the economic, social conditions, so forth and so on. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, come back next time and we will be talking about population policies.